Ambassador Ron Dermer, don't you find it more than ironic, in fact, repulsive, that your country is being lectured all the time about civilians? And you say over and over again, we're trying to avoid civilian deaths. We're trying to open up these pathways for civilians to get out. You've lost almost 40 IDF soldiers now. Uh, if you wanted to blow that country or that, that state, that territory off the face of the earth, you certainly could, but you choose not to. From these other countries who are hardly uh, civil rights uh, uh, authoritarian regimes, they are, but they hardly promote civil rights. They're slaughtering their own people. They're torturing their own people. Don't you find it a little odd that these international human rights groups and the New York Times and all the other never report about any of this? Yeah, I like how you say it's a little odd. I guess you become a, a good diplomat. Uh, it's uh, it's shameful, <laughs> but you've seen the hypocrisy of, of the Middle East. Uh, and probably the only place that is more hypocritical than the Middle East is the United Nations. Uh, and people castigate Israel uh, and excoriate us for what we do when we take action that no country that I'm aware of in the history of the world has taken the action that we've taken to keep the civilian population of of our enemy out of harm's way. You know, I was born and raised in the United States, Mark, as you know, and as you can hear from my, uh, my accent. And in Israel, I always ask myself, having been born and raised in the United States and grown up there and, and really loving America and think America is a good and decent country, not a perfect country, we're all imperfect, but as great superpowers go, the best country in the history of the world and how it's treated also its enemies in times of war, because others did not do that if you know anything about history. But when I think about what Israel does, I always ask myself what I call the WWAD question. What would America do faced with this threat? So here, here's a question I'm going to ask you, and I'll put it in American terms so you understand what happened on October 7th and the war that we're currently waging right now. So imagine that you have 50 to 60,000 Americans are killed on a single day, the equivalent of 2911s. And then you have 8,000 American hostages taken in, in, over your southern border. And then you're going to go and wage war. And what the entire world is going to talk to you about is how much humanitarian assistance is going to the people who live in those areas. And make sure you're doing everything to keep the innocent civilians out of harm's way. What do you think America would do if it was facing the threat that we were facing, not thousands of miles away in some caves in Tora Bora, but literally on your southern border. Oh, and let me add something else for you as well. You have half of your population rushing to bomb shelters because they're firing rockets at you every single day. What do you think the American government would do? So Israel should be judged not by some standard of perfection. We should be judged based on how any other country would operate under the conditions of war that we are operating. And then I think you'll find that the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, is the most moral army in the world. And I say that with great respect for the United States military force. <laughs> I have an entire presentation just discussing the psychotic lies that come from Zionists. The idea that the IDF is the most moral army in the world, they are cowards who are, by the way, getting their ass handed to them by Hamas resistance fighters on the ground. So they have to resort to hiding and bombing hospitals. They bomb in hospitals that they claim are Hamas, even though doctors say they've been working there for years, decades, they never seen Hamas. They have these tunnels that they don't have no pictures of. And I'm glad that these psychopaths are making our job of shifting public opinion very easy. Americans are harshly turning against Israel. Because people seeing the barbaric footage, like our Twitter, the Twitter timeline is horrific. Like it's horrific. I've seen so many maimed, disfigured children. I saw one with like half their cranium blown off. Now we like scar for life. You know what I mean? I've seen these videos where Zionists are yelling at Palestinians at protest rallies. And CJ, thank God that have not happened to me yet because yeah. there's no word to describe <laughs> after seeing this. And it's like yeah. on site. You know what I mean? It's like on site now. So God forbid, if it happens, it's going to happen, guys. You're going to see an example of my 12 years of Muay Thai very soon because I'm at the middle of the Palestinian protest and any of these psychotic Zionists who are cheering the bombing of kids come to me 
sideways. <laughs> I'm ready to throw hands, but CJ, I have a lot. Of, I have a lot to cover today. Uh, anything you want to add? To you this? can start with your story. We can start. No, I'll say I'll comment on the video, and then we can start with one of your stories, uh, first stories, because uh, 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 just like this guy, it seemed like Nick, like it, the title says, the Sunday shows was off the hook. That's an old '90s term, off yeah. the hook with yeah. Zionist propaganda. I never. I was like, this is insane. I'll turn to meet the press. I turned to face the nation. I turned to this week. I turned to freaking folks. I was like, this is freaking insane. And wait till we it's get game time. Of course, we're gonna cover the Netanyahu interview. He went on a he went on a little tour. We'll cover a little bit of that. And we'll also cover the Israeli president also has been out talking. Uh, they're, yeah. they're losing the narrative, Nick. They have lost the narrative and they're gonna, trying to gain it back. Go ahead. A lot of our segments are gonna blend together very yes. well. Um I I'll let you start. Go ahead. Days. I, 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 you guys need to take care of yourself. You know, what I mean, there's, there's a lot of trauma online. Like I'm radicalized beyond belief. You know what I mean? Like, I gotta be careful what I say on YouTube. Beyond belief, seeing the disgusting war crimes and Israel sending a message to the United States and their allies that this international law is not real. After seeing what we have seen, after the bombing of hospitals, you have. Israeli doctors pleading for their army to bomb more hospitals. You have doctors and nurses that are writing letters. And I'll say this, and I saw a few doctors saying this as well. Any doctor that has not come for a ceasefire after seeing the crimes Israel is doing to the healthcare system in Gaza, they should be disbarred. Israel, and I'm saying it loud on Twitter now, and I think this should be the demand of the proletariat. Will it happen? That That's irrelevant. Our demand, and I know we're probably going to make statements at RBN, it's something that we got to discuss soon. I'm calling for, and soon maybe RBN, we are calling for the return of a, the Nuremberg, Nuremberg Trials. Nuremberg Trials 2024, Nuremberg 2.0. That is what I am calling for right now for our organization. <coughs> Every single person that is complicit with the slaughter of Palestinian children, the blatant disregard for international law, their their willfulness to commit genocide and Israeli leaders openly admitting that is their intention. That's why it's disgusting. And Biden should be included in this Nuremberg 2.0 because he told a lie, his administration continued to tell the lie, that we haven't made the assessment that Israel is purposely committing war crimes. You show you, I showed you that with Nico House on Friday. So Right now, the West, and there's only a, a very small amount now. Israel is isolated. That's why you've seen the same propaganda we're going to cover later. That's why you see the unhinged post I'm going to show you here later of Zion that just openly come out as Nazis, openly disregarding free speech, calling for violence against their enemies because they're panicking because they're losing the narrative. Yeah. The idea that what I just said is radical is absurd. I am calling, I am using their law, CJ, the Nuremberg trials, put Nazis on trial, and they, in the message of, uh, of the trials, when they put Nazis on trial is, just following orders is not an excuse. Remember, CJ, I was a history nerd before her, yeah. I got into politics. That was the line. Just following orders is not an excuse for what you guys did. And that is my position. After everything we've seen and the psychological damage that ha this has done on my friends, the people I know, this should be the bare minimum. So I'm calling for the return of the Nuremberg trials. And Joe Biden, who lied about this, and there's in this presentation, I'm also going to show you guys how there are people in the federal government, people in the Biden administration, that are realizing that they are being complicit with some historical shit, CJ. Historic yeah. crimes against humanity. So now they have a memo flowing around where they are condemning Biden and saying he's complicit with war crimes because of his lies, the lies of the Biden administration and the United States government, that Israel is, is the most moral or army. You guys see that on, on Fox News, the propaganda they're doing. Meanwhile, this is what Israeli leaders literally say. This is the tweet. While the world debates the legality of what Israel is doing in Gaza, Israeli leaders themselves have been crystal clear about their intent. 
So let's listen to this. Zachor et asher asalecha ma'ar. I think this is a, a lot of this is not in English. I'll, I'll, I'll translate it. Anu zochrim, v'anu nilchamim. It's an entire nation out there that is responsible. It's not true. This rhetoric about civilians not really aware, not aware, not involved, it's absolutely not true. I remember this. This is the famous clip when they said we fight against human animals. There'll be no electricity, no food, no fuel. That's them announcing war crimes. Meanwhile, uh, CJ, John Kirby and the Biden administration like, we don't see any evidence. We looked into it, man. I don't know. Yeah. We had no idea what you're talking about. Meanwhile, they're literally saying, we about to starve everybody. We about to kill everybody. Everyone is a moss. You're a moss, CJ. You, you chatting. You're watching. You're a moss. Your grandma is a moss. <laughs> I'm a moss, apparently. But let, let's continue. I'm going to get to that later. Very puzzled by the constant <coughs> concern which the world is showing for the Palestinian people and is actually showing for these horrible, inhuman animals who have done the worst atrocities that this century has seen. That's them literally saying that we don't care about he said, I do not equate Palestinians to animals because that's an insult to animals. Erase their families, their mothers, and their children. Now, this is going to be the theme of this presentation, CJ. And I reject everything that Israel said without proof. I reject all their narratives. I reject everything our government says, which include what they say about our enemies. It's weird, CJ. People say, I don't trust the corporate media. I don't trust the government. But I believe everything they say about China. <laughs> I know they lie about everything, except when they talk about Nicolas Maduro, except when they talk about North Korea, except when they talk about Hamas. Everything they told you guys about Hamas is a lie. Not only that, everything they told you guys about Hamas is a projection. And I want you guys to keep this in mind as we continue my presentation. Everything they tell you about Hamas is Israel. CJ, what did they what did they tell you on Fox News? What did the right say? The right say, people in Hamas, they want to kill Jewish children. They want to kill our Jews. So as they say Hamas wants to do something, you want to know what Israelis actually put in and plan in action? They say Hamas, they say mean things. Hamas say mean things about killing Jewish people. Meanwhile, Israel is out there killing Palestinians, cheering for their deaths of their children and their mothers. <laughs> Everything, and you guys can see more examples as we continue this segment, everything they say about Hamas applies to Israel. Every single thing. Now let's continue. I do this all the time too, so I know people that don't watch the screen, they just listen. I do that. <laughs> so what this quote says on the screen for people who are just listening, uh the person who is a former head of the Israeli National Security Security Council, Gloria Elin, she says Gaza will become a place where no human being can exist. That's, he was asked a question. He like, do you are you guys just gonna kill hundreds, hundreds of thousands of these people? And he like, yo, yo, all these people already left. 
so we we we're committing ethnic cleansing against these, against these people. See, that wasn't it's hilarious. The Israelis were like these people left. We allowed these people to leave. You you literally bragging about displacing millions of people? How is that a good thing? For one, secondly, they said, well, the people who don't leave, the people who are who refuse to allow us to ethnically cleanse them, we're going to consider them all Hamas and them all terrorists, and we're going to kill them all. Where in international law, ladies and gentlemen, does that say that's okay, <laughs> CJ? Where is, where is that ever considered okay? This is the most moral ar army in the world, fam. We but the thing is, let's, 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 say, let's break down just a little bit the, the notion of we warned them to go, mass exodus, evacuate. Nick, you tell me, how, if you gave a homeless person a unhoused person, a warning to 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 get out of an area. How far do you think a homeless person without a car, without money to buy yeah. a bus ticket, how far do you think that person can go, Nick? But Nick. they think these Palestinians have some magical powers. Oh, we <laughs> warned you two hours ago to get out of here. What does that do? What does that do? And to go where? To go where? When you're enclosing a uh open air concentration camp it's it's absurd but go not ahead. only that yeah. when palestinians followed the escape route israel was caught bombing those escape routes so i want you guys to flee but then when they flee they bomb them and also quick question zionist psychopaths how are incubator babies for example people with disabilities going to leave an entire area flee in a mass migration movement in two three hours hint they don't which is why Israel just murdered multiple incubator babies. They died because they didn't have oxygen because Israel bombed the hospital and they lost the power. So you know how they told us about Hamas executing babies? You know how they told us about the incubator babies which led to the Iraq war? That's Israel. Every single thing they tell us about Hamas, put, put insert any enemy, Russia and Ukraine, Saddam Hussein, Gaddafi, anyone. That is what Israel is doing times 10. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, let me continue. I still, I still got quite a bit to cover. There's going to be a uh, a big, bit of a presentation, but this is probably going to be my one segment today just because I got a lot of cover here. Let's so these are, if you're just listening, these are just more close to them saying we want to kill all of them. And this is the far right minister. I made a hotspot video about this guy who literally said he's down with Oak Nuke in Gaza. <laughs> what? That would destroy Israel too. But they just fucking insane. Let's continue. Israel MK says use doomsday weapons in, against Gaza. I did not see that part. <clears throat> Fuck, wow. There's so much stuff, guys. That's why this presentation may be a little bit long today. But I'm not including so much. There's so much receipts. And Zionists are just straight up showing the entire world who they are. Like, hey, I can go hours just showing you guys what these people are saying. Even stuff like this is falling through the cracks. I didn't even see this headline. Did use doomsday weapons against Gaza. Annihilate Gaza now. Now. Gaza needs to turn into a desert. Yes. Let me read this. I ain't read this, though. It said Israel had dropped 18,000 tons of bombs on Gaza. 1.5 times more than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. But Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus Christ. Nuremberg 2.0 now. Like, Jesus. The Israeli army massacred 908 families. Causing the death of thousands of people. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've seen this. This is when they were having a genocide prep rally, CJ. <laughs> a bunch of young people got together and they sung songs about how they bombing uh, Palestinian children. <laughs> Like the most insane psychopathic Nazis. When I was, I tell you, when I when I was a sweet summer child, CJ, 
I still remember how I used to feel about the world. Like I used to think like the Nazi was defeated. I thought it, we evil was defeated. We prevailed. Black people, we've been through a lot, but we they're finally sunshine around it in the, in the future. And I used to, I, I was a sweet summer child because of U.S. propaganda, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate. <laughs> so that's why when I when the propaganda bubble burst for me in my late teenage years, it was so jarring because of how propagandized I was. So back when I was a sweet summer child, I didn't know people like this still existed, CJ. You know what I mean? I thought people like this was relic of, a, of the past. Like people just cheering the bombing of hospitals, bombing of children. I'm not exaggerating. I'm going to shut up because I'm going a little bit too long. But I'm not exaggerating. I saw this whole video. Uh, yo, they were cheering, having a dance song. Like, yep, bomb the kids. Bomb the hospitals. They all terrorists. Let's murder them. Like, like you know, They had like a Sesame Street vibe to genocide, CJ. But anyway, let me let me continue because there's still a lot of, a lot of coverage. Yeah. They don't show the whole thing, but the whole that whole video is pretty unhinged. So if I if I did a presentation just describing all the war crimes that happened since Friday, the last time I was live here, it would take two hours. <laughs> 